hello everybody and welcome back thank you for joining me for another episode of omega strike we are trying to find some pieces of, well no we're trying to find a broken helicopter so that we can get pieces to fix a helicopter so that we can save our buddies we have two other friends that have been kidnapped and we need to go retrieve them so we need to find the helicopter in order to do that and i'm just trying to go through here there is a lot of different creatures in here and there's several of these little like crawl areas that i believe that we're going to get some kind of power up to get through i don't know exactly how that's going to work but we're going to have to figure that out as time goes by this is uh pretty well the three different characters in this game have different shooting abilities and they all have advantages and disadvantages to the way they shoot and i think so far that this one is my favorite i like that constant rapid fire is really nice here we need to get rid of this bomb guy here i keep on forgetting we could shoot up through these thin platforms there's another little place that we could crawl through so i'm really curious how this is in another one yeah so we're gonna have to pick that up somehow probably shortly this is a metroidvania so i do expect to come back around this area at some point to be able to go through those little crawl areas but we'll just have to wait and see i feel almost like some of them are shortcuts check out our map okay we can go left or right here let's get rid of these guys i like this little rock guy down here he just like little is a gun in a rock basically and it's kind of cool uh, the uh, characters are the enemies are definitely kind of inventive they are ooh, that is another med kit that's good the enemies are basically like super soldiers of some sort these guys definitely are the super soldiers i'm not sure how that little rock guy fits in this he might just be that was a bad mistake he might just be like a creation or a robot kind of thing that was made from the super soldier serum that was developed not sure let's i'm well let's just keep going left i guess at some point we'll have to come back around i'm sure these guys are kind of tricky you really need someone to drop me a turkey <laughs> or a chicken leg whatever they are that's what they kind of look like and it's just a, a health refill but it's kind of cool can i shoot the yes i can shoot that guy and i really want to shoot that guy there's another one but let's get run yeah so it looks like that thing shoots at me it's like a i can't shoot diagonally though but it it senses me and shoots towards my direction while the other ones don't have that like 360 kind of point of view okay so one of the guys that we have is like a big burly guy and he'll be able to push that rock but for now we cannot go any further that way which is i wouldn't say bad but something that we just gotta come back to at some point Ooh, we don't want to jump into the spikes either that would be bad i really don't want to die i guess i have a couple med kits it is possible that we could pick up a med kit or use one of our med kits i think i have two if i get any lower we're probably going to have to do that that guy just runs at me he's kind of scary come on come back here there we go Try to explore the map a little bit and see where we can find because we don't know where this helicopter is located we just have to try to find it as best we can the pixel art is actually really good in here and some very subtle stuff too as well like that guy that we just was fighting he raises his gun a little bit to shoot which is kind of cool that he doesn't have it 
already raised it something that's kind of neat and a simple little thing that the pixel art can do it's not that gun is not already at the ready so to speak get that bat out of here and i think probably the bats are just bats not everything that we fight probably is a mutant super soldier i would have to say that the bats are probably yeah just bats in a cave because i think that's the only place we've seen them oh right sweet we found a chicken leg we picked that up before i was able to show it off but if we see another one i'll show that oh she jumped right into that one that was not helpful at all here we go there has to be some kind of randomization on that chicken leg that it's just not giving me right now can i make that jump yes i can so one of the other guys has the ability to double jump which really is going to be helpful i like actually like these little bomb guys there's the chicken leg that we could pick up and it refills two of our health so that's going to be very good for us now i'm not sure we actually have a lot of places to continue to explore in here oh that doesn't look good that looks oh i like that so it just shows that it's not a way down like there's a lot of ups and downs in the map and i like that that just shows that hey you know what this is a little bit of a death area that you know we know you know, oh shoot <laughs> totally missed that that's not good but it's a it's a it's a nice little thing to add to show that it is not a down area that you can go to it's it, it is death so we don't want you to i cannot there we go make that jump last jump yeah there we go nice little thing to add in a game to make it clear that that in fact is a place that you do not want to go is that somewhere i see a little cave down there how would i get there we go look at that all right we got a life cube now those are the secrets that i like you were able to see this little spot with something there and you just got to find exactly how to get to it and it was fairly simple way it was just a straight on level hidden area and that was kind of nice to have it so simple there sometimes especially in metroidvanias the can i get closer to kill that yeah there we go especially in metroidvanias the hidden stuff is very well hidden and i really like that that wasn't so hidden there there are like all kinds of brambles down there we go oh, oh, we gotta be careful we don't want to get shot in the head that would be a bad thing definitely kill these guys from below death from below oh, oh okay so we're gonna have to jump over here kill that oh no oh we almost fell that would i guess not been a real bad thing but because it wasn't a like a death fall but i don't want to fall and have to redo that over and over again we are all we are on cl cloud and top of mountain but i am not so sure i went the right way there's another safe spot let's go ahead and save that is going to help us out if we happen to die we can come back there we drop down through there should we drop down through there we're just gonna have to continue to explore oh gosh get out of the brambles get out of the brambles oh gosh that was a dumb move i would have got hit either way really we gotta time that so that we can get here we go i need some more chicken legs oh there we go we found the treasure chest that gives us 30 gold now is there now in the map mode there are four treasure chests in this place so we've got to try to find all of them it looks like so far that the treasure chests have been gold so far but we don't know what that will do and also now that we have my go to my inventory now that we we have five life cubes i forgot about those health points that we we uh, that chicken legs that we bought but we have five health cubes so that means that we can at, oh there we go that was kind of nice we will be able to increase our health at some point Woo 
Ooh, that was close. Is this taking me somewhere? Yeah, okay. I was thinking that it was taking me back down where, where I've been, but it does look like it's somewhere different. Let him try to get those guys. They just charge me, so you got to kind of be ready for them to come at you and get them how you can. Wow. Definitely in a very involved map here. Oh, this looks like another enemy um boss kind of person oh cool frankly i finally i found you not very nice of you making me chase you all over this darn mountain i hear you made short work of dozer no matter you no match for me okay well let's see what you're gonna do and try to figure out his pattern as best we can here whoa there's all kinds of shots there Okay, he's going to shoot a lot of these and I don't know the best way to take over those but that's Definitely going to be a hard thing to avoid here is all these Laser shots, but ah shoot he ran ran me over. Oh gosh This guy is definitely a little bit more tricky than dozer So we definitely have to be Oh Shoot. Yeah, I'm not gonna get Oh gosh, it's, the jump is just, we almost have to start like here because I've got to jump and come back. If I run into the wall, that's going to trap me so I can't like move this way. Like the, the space between the lasers are just a little bit more than my jump. So I have to kind of go away from them as well. We're making a little bit of progress. Ah, shoot. There we go. We're down too far here. We we're doing good there for a second, but these rocks come and hit my head and <laughs> cause problem. Oh, he's bouncing now. That's not good. Just follow that pattern there and we should be able to be all right. Ah, shoot. I was not too bad, I'd say, but yeah, I could have done better. That switch up definitely caught me off guard there let's see if we can get back to that was my save spot oh that was my save spot do i keep the treasure chest though it looks like it already said that the treasure was there so let's go see if the treasure is still okay. i want to see if that treasure is still found i did continue it it really Wait, it's, yeah, okay, so some save games or some, I guess, reload from save point, there's kind of two ways to do it. One way would to be like almost a continue. You just are set back, so you keep everything that you picked up since you saved, and you just get transported back to that spot. There's some like this one that really saved the game there and you have to redo everything. And that is the way it appears that this one is that you have to kind of go back and pick everything back up again because it really is a save spot. Now also, if I'm having trouble here with this guy, we could run all the way back to the beginning and pick up another life here that would help out quite a bit but i think considering how we did in the last one i think i'd be a little bit better with the the bouncing area but i think we could do take him out without too much trouble just gotta watch out for those those la those laser balls are the hard thing there to avoid and the rocks sometimes are difficult too because they seem to be coming out at different times but we haven't taken a hit yet i don't want to say <laughs> be careful about what i say here because i definitely don't want to take a hit because i jinxed myself but we've got him down to half health i think we're doing pretty good here oh he's done doing the bouncing thing okay i'm just gonna have to Avoid him and the, there we go. Maybe I should just avoid Him while he's doing the bouncing thing might be the better thing to do Make sure I avoid him in the rocks so that 
I get a hit on shoot maybe not I just got a couple hits oh come on oh come on get out oh that 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 bouncing thing is definitely giving me some difficulty here trying to hit him at least a little bit here but he is making it really hard to do so gotta watch out for like two things at a time and it's it's kind of difficult ah! I've got him down a little bit but I'm not sure if I can make this here can't just stay in one spot because the rocks change up the way they fall so you got to be careful about that as well you might make it out of here just maybe maybe another time another round of this and we good as long as I don't get hit with him or the rocks close oh gosh I was so close he's so close to dying I just want him to ah there we go another death and another just barely survived with one cube of life left there we go new ability combat roll while controlling the Sarge pressed special okay so this is Sarge I'm assuming what is our oh there we go sweet awesome that's gonna let me slide up under there awesome there we go now that means we're gonna to have to go back and cover a lot of ground again I think can I shoot him I want to shoot him I think considering that we want to go back and get a shoot should I go back and get a life or should I go get the parts I probably should go get the parts and if this is the way to the helicopter parts I probably should do that and then get try to pick up those other things as we do that there's another one so that means we have six of them a couple more good finds there and we'll be able to pick up two new heart or life cubes i guess which would be really nice the little guy's gonna shoot two see that's another thing you just those patterns that you look for he always shoots two and then moves on so just kind of have to wait on that let's see if we can shoot all these guys in their head there we go i like that combat row i wonder also if that is going to have us avoid damage i wonder if that combat roll like makes us invincible as well let's go ahead and pick up that save there okay where are we i'm oh we're still in oh so we made a loop there we've talked about that before in metrovania's about how games make it easier to come back around certain times and that's exactly what i was talking about i'm gonna go up here real quick and see if we can find this area up here and see what's up in that no is that the i cannot recall if that was the the section that was blocked off by a rock or not where am i i'm close i think it was just a little area that was kind of it should be right up here oh shoot well maybe we can't quite get to that corner and i'm not sure why not it doesn't look like anything else is there a secret here I just feel that that corner okay i am never mind i've cleared that out a lot i guess i think right below me was the spot i can't remember it was there we go we gotta watch out for spikes this brambles now that was a secret where we picked out the cube yeah the life cube i would like to try to get all the other rolly areas as i go back if possible that would probably be the best way to do it 
it doesn't look like there is any more there's that but that's the way i came in yeah so let's go ahead and drop Ah, uh, there we go quick way let's do it the quick way we do not have to kill every enemy and that's sometimes i have to tell my kids that as well because well not so much anymore but before they would especially like in mario brothers or something like that my youngest son would always try to kill all the enemies and he would run out of time because he would you know he'd take his time and and try to kill every what are they called i can't just lost completely lost the what the the turtles uh koopa brothers or the hammer brothers or or goombas you try to kill them all and it would end up making him run out of time because he would take too much time on the certain you know trying to force kill everything there we go well, let's get that and then we're gonna go ahead and go off this way and see what's over here it may be another you know what let's go i'm looking for treasure ch ah, i can't go that way okay now if i had to the, the one of the guys do have, does have a double jump so that would probably be very would have been helpful there but you know jump over here i don't really want to fight you anyways okay got that i don't want to okay there's another treasure chest that's sweet okay so it looks like we're gonna get another 30 gold there that's that's good i like that so there's two of the four treasure chest but we we got two of the cubes the one minute med kit and the only thing that we're really looking for now is the other two treasure chests so as soon as i find those we can head back down i bet you i know we're one of them all yep well i guess it's one hit is oh all right i guess i didn't want to fall in those brambles oh shoot i really should have picked up that gold i guess one gold's not gonna matter that much but i didn't really didn't want to waste it out so if we head this way there was a block off i'm thinking this was the way with the square the, the block that the big burly guy had to break but or push he doesn't break him he just pushes him and i'm pretty sure that's what that was that's this way yep i was correct so now we've got to let's just run the uh, running gun <laughs> run and do a little bit of gunning you know i can get him in nice in the back while he's worried about turning around there's still two more treasure chest to find though that's what i'm worried about i'm worried about that's not really the it they both could be right there though we've got a right to go here and then like up top and then down there's a corner as well that we didn't have fully it's i think this way was just i didn't go this way yet i cannot shoot down like downward there's yeah there's absolutely no way which would be kind of cool if i could jump and point down and was able to shoot down i would be kind of neat but there we go go for him somewhere in here there has to be oh we missed i missed the uh, missed something over here was there a another way to go out that i missed up here because it looks like yeah there is a way let's go this way and see if we can find i would say that the other treasure chest is over here somewhere if i had to guess or one of the treasure chests is over here this looks like a treasure chest way i guess kind of just set off by itself here Oh, I like those little spiked guys on the chains. That's pretty cool. There we go. Another 30 gold probably. Yes. That's going to really help us out when we go to upgrade our abilities. 
I know that we picked up range last time for him so damage would be a good thing to pick up this time I might just go ahead and do like if I have enough money to do you know another ranged upgrade and then a then I would do a damage upgrade if I have enough money but we'll have to see We are, this should be down in this corner is a place I haven't been yet. That I kind of think looks just like a shortcut that I could avoid all this stuff by going up in a round, but let's, yeah, that just looks like a shortcut. You gotta avoid all the people. Oh, go down through, oh, missed him. And then a chicken leg and probably a little place little bit of going and we should probably get to the last treasure chest I would say oh no what oh that's the parts awesome those are the spare parts so where is the I'm totally missing where we might have to come back through here I don't know one treasure chest is not that big of a deal I'm not a completionist in any stretch of the wording but I'm curious. I would like to have that if it's something that shouldn't be too hard to find, but I'm not too worried about it. I need to really would like to get some more health. That's going to really help us out here. And I'm excited to pick that up when we get back to that's one of the big things that I'm looking forward to when we get back to town is to be picking up that ah sheesh that health i don't want to die now this is kind of precarious Let's see if there's something nope nothing up there i'm trying to see if maybe we was able to open everything but just not get to it for some reason like here if i rolled in here oh no this just looks like another shortcut i was trying to think of like an area in which I was able to uncover everything, but it wasn't. Yeah, I think that was probably just a shortcut. There doesn't seem to be anything else in this area here. Oh, except the guy that wants to chew my face off. There we go. That was kind of nice. Grab my two health points. I really need to remember that I have some of those chicken legs in my inventory because I could have definitely used that on that boss there. That was kind of silly. Come on, poke your head up out of there. There we go. That would have would have helped. Would have made that boss fight a little bit easier. That's kind of silly of me to have missed that. It looks like we have missed. Well, okay. Once I get my the big strong guy, I can push that block, and that's probably where that last treasure chest is. I go I really like the way this map is laid out showing you the safe spots and the entrances and exits into the different areas tumbleweed desert let's get back over here and see what max says and get that oh gosh Ooh, I think I dropped way too far get that health life cube and as well as seeing what Mac, Mac says. Mac is the helicopter pilot, the one that sent us out on this mission to get these parts. I like how the parts were all in a, a little <laughs> tool chest there for us as well. That was very convenient of it. When that guy dies, he kind of looks like a chicken flying through the air. I like, I just think that I, that, that humors me for some reason. It just, the way he's shaped and when he flips up after blowing, kind of looks like a chicken flying through the air, like a roast turkey or something. Nope. We should be about back tumbleweed. Very close. Very, very close. Here we go. There's Mac, but I want to go over here to the priest. Let's talk to the priest. Good to see you again, Pilgrim. Yes, I would like to offer life cubes in exchange for a blessing. 
Oh, wow, that was kind of cool. Boom. Praise the Lord. That was kind of neat. There is... How many of those do I have? I didn't think I picked... I didn't... Okay. I was thinking I didn't pick up eight of them, but I was just curious. Now, let's see what snake, extra firepower. I am going to... Uh, I don't want the emergency beacon, really, but I could... That has gone up. Increase the maximum range. I think I could do both of these rifle damage up let's go ahead and do that i don't know if i come back to him will it give me oh yeah the mark ii upgrade do i want to do the range there is only so if we go in here and look at abilities there's only two upgrades that you could buy so it's not really that big of a deal that i max it's not like i'm wasting it all because that's the end these two is all the rifle damage so i need another 320 and my rifle is all maxed out so let's go ahead and go, i think i'm gonna go ahead and grab that while we have the money and then we'll do the damage upgrade later as well that should really help us out here i found the parts awesome i'll have this burnt up and running in no time sweet i think that would be that should do it thanks for finding those parts for me come talk talk to me when you're ready to head out I think that is an absolutely great place to end this episode. We do need to run and get a save spot really quickly so that we have all this saved up. And I think we could jump in the bunker here and save really quickly. There we go. It's all saved nice and dandy. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.